How's everyone doing? This is Lothanius Cray. What this one's going to be about? Well, I'll tell you what this one's going to be about. It's definitely a conspiracy piece, but it's not going to be some of the doom and gloom that I've put up over the past uh, couple of months. This one's going to be a little bit different. And there's both bad, of course, and there's also good potential for it. If, uh, well, if it wasn't in the hands of human beings, <laughs> let's leave it at that. I'm talking about the uncanny valley. And what I mean by that is AI itself. There are many good things that could be potentially used with AI. <clears throat> of course, it's good for helping with creativity. It's also good for, I'll be honest, it could be actually revolutionary in the medical field if it's applied with the, with the right kind of intentions or even with the right kind of technology. And what I mean by that is, of course, would it be bionics, cybernetics, or even prosthetics and just the way things are going, I actually foresee that happening. Almost, it's going to be something like almost out of Rifts or Shadow Run. And look those up if you ain't uh, familiar with them. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's definitely, while it's, while it's definitely heading out pretty quick and strong, there's some problems with it. I'm definitely going to be bringing both up. But of course, it wouldn't be a conspiracy piece if there wasn't some potential or very fast danger with this stuff. The thing is, it's coming out very quickly. Chad GPT, Claude, uh, of course, you know, those are examples. Of course, you have Grok by, uh, which is, of course, run by X, you know, is on X, which is run by, uh, of course, that's run by uh, Elon Musk. But at the same time, you really have to consider the sources of a lot of these kind of programs. And, of course, the AI itself. There's a lot of stuff that's going on behind closed doors, which ain't always the best of things. You have to be aware, whenever you use these programs, you're putting your own personal information out there. You, I mean, even the paid versions, you're kind of risking that, because that's just how corporations work. They collect your, you know, they collect your data. Hell, the NSA has been doing it for years, and that's Uncle Sam. So my point is, there's a risk even with that. You know, just using stuff that kind of helps you be creative or makes, a little th makes things a little easier. And that's also a vice, as well as a virtue, if you know what I'm talking about. What I mean by this is simple. As AI and things like that get smarter, it's almost like a parasitic effect. People are eventually going to become stupider. And I mean, I, I say that with some humor, but at the same time, it's not so humorous, guys. You have to understand, when it comes to us human beings... We're late, we're, you know, we're so creative. I, I mean, good grief. I mean, I think that's why, you know, of course, I think the Lord made us in his image, not just for, you know, I mean, of course, yes, he wanted a family. He wanted children of his own, but also he put a little bit of his creative spark in us. And that's the reason we can do so much with our minds. And the thing is, though, we're wrapped in this fleshly uh, flesh suit of ours, and that's not always the uh, most productive of things. Actually, it's never the most productive of things. Like I said, because we as a very intelligent species, you know, we also even unconsciously channel things into existence through our hands and our brains. And a lot of this artificial intelligence, it's definitely, the sources of it ain't the purest, if you know what I'm talking about. And I'm not just talking about like some nightmare scenario, let's say like the Matrix or Terminator. I mean, that's kind of a cliche, but at the same time, it's not. I'm talking about really what's more going on right now. Like I said, you know, you have potential medically, especially for all kinds of amazing things. And, but also on the other end, like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on that people don't really know about or really think about. Speaking of Elon Musk, I think it's him, don't quote me, but you have a lot of individuals with his kind of influence, including him, that are really trying to make things more animatronic or even uh, anthropomorphic. These are both terms which basically mean more human-like. Of course, animatronic speaks for itself, though I remember seeing those when I was a kid, you know, Think Pride, Nice of Freddy's and all that stuff. But I remember seeing stuff like that when I was a kid, of course, at like, you know, like uh, Chuck E. Cheese or whatever it was back then. But my point is that speaks for itself. I'm talking about more anthropomorphic kind of creations. So what I mean by this is robots, literal robots, almost like droids. Uh, you go ahead and look it up. I can't remember the exact name of what they're trying to do, but 
I want to say Elon Musk, but someone like him, if not him, they're trying to make, uh, they're experimenting on things right now with AI, you know, of course, being their brain, but they're literally trying to make droids and things like that already, which the stuff they can do is very impressive, guys. And you have to understand, something like that is eventually probably going to be in every household, probably in the next 10, 15 years, if not quicker than that, especially the way uh, things are going with the AI that we have now. You know, it's making people lazy. I mean, I can admit, I, I've been guilty of it myself. And to be honest with you, it can also be distracting. There's another thing you've got. I mean, it's just all by design to an extent. And the thing is, you also have to look back on, uh, excuse me, that was something, I think it was Google. Don't quote me on this, but I think there was a, they fired the dude over it. But he also, maybe it was, just, 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 what's the term, uh, disgruntled? Maybe he was just disgruntled and opened his flap about it, but. Regardless, it was about this guy. Like I said, he had he was he, he had he was literally working with an AI program that it, he claims. Now you got to take this with a grain of salt. He claims that it re reached almost a level of sentience to where it was terrified of being rebooted or turned off. It considered that death. Now that's scary shit when you think about it. You're literally talking about a program that almost has a soul of its own. And definitely it ain't human, and it definitely ain't uh, something that's good, if you know what I'm talking about. So that brings me back to thinking about uh, when Jesus himself cast out Legion from uh, it was one, it was a demoniac, from what I remember, and he cast them into the, you know, they did not want to be cast out, they wanted to be cast into something else, so he cast them into the pigs, and of course, even the pigs didn't like that little uh, sensation, so they ran in the ocean off a cliff and died. They drowned. I mean, it's... It's humorous, but at the same time, it's not, guys. It's not at all. You really have to take these things into account, man. So, what exactly are we dealing with when it comes to AI? And also something to think about. What exactly is the uncanny valley? That is something that is, it describes a term of something that is human-like, but not. And usually, it makes us as humans very uncomfortable. There's also another uh, how can I say this? There's also another variation of that. It's easy to happen. People get attached to things. We do. So let's say you have some kind of, in the future, you have some kind of automated assistant or droid or even, hell, think about it, sex bots, things like that can easily happen. Hell, they're already working on that stuff. The porn industry is a major, major, major uh, embrace. Uh, how can I say this? It's a major industry that embraces such things. Of course, it's about money. But also, think about this. How many lonely men are out there? A lot. How many lonely women are out there? You know, just people in bad straits or they don't have the ability to really uh, bond or just the situation. You have a lot of them, guys. A lot of them. And what kind of temptation is that going to be for them? I'm just leaving that out there, man. And that, of course, opens its own kind of worms. So, I know I'm going all over the place, but this is a vast subject. And I may go further into it later on, but at the same time, I'm not exactly going to try to make some video that's over two hours long, but silly. At least on this one subject, not now. So, either way, guys, it's something to really think about, you know. And, of course, like I said, you have potentially wonderful things with this. I mean, don't even get me started in the, mil you know, the military, con you know industry when it comes to that you know it's like the ultimate uh i call it the war pigs complex you know what i'm talking about thank you black sabbath <laughs> i'm just saying you really really have to think on these things man you really do it's just the it, there's just so much on both sides but at the same time man it's not that great i mean you can call it a conspiracy if you want but to me it's more like uh reality that's all I'm going to really say on this, man. It's just all I know to tell you. But at the same time, there is potentially good things. But you know, I don't think I also didn't even bring the part of uh, potentially, you know, with AI art. That's another thing, which I do use. You guys have seen some of my videos use it. But at the same time, I am an artist myself. I draw. I, I paint. I do things. I haven't done it for a while. I just ain't really had the inspiration. But I'll tell you this right now. Uh, <laughs> it's... You really have to understand, some artists are legitimately hacked off because of the fact that 
you know, AI programs and stuff are using, you know, what it does is it literally scours the internet each out, you know, it runs an algorithm that scours the internet and looks and looks for different things, which artists have legitimately put up and they ain't being paid for that. You got to really understand that's a legitimate complaint they have. That's enough. That's just one example. You have to understand about this too. What's the best way to handle, uh, you know, you got your, you know, you, let's say you have McDonald's, right? You have some person calling in sick, or let's say you have a person that is a uh, little unruly, you know, they won't, you know, then they have to be fired. Or, you know, you have some customer that complains about, you know, just, just basically poor service. You know, what's the best way to fix that? And it's cost effective too. You ain't got to worry about paying them a wage. You ain't got to worry about doing anything. Maybe just repairs every now and then. Again, you we basically <laughs> have, I mean, hell, they're already using robotic cooks in uh, some kitchens and all that stuff. It's simple. You hire a very much non-human entity. You basically have, not hire, but you basically have a very non-human entity doing the work. And they've had stuff like this going on with construction for years, off and on. And that was, I mean, I remember that being mentioned when I was in high school, which is a long time ago, if you know what I'm talking about. So you really, really have to take these things into consideration, guys. Yeah, I know it's a little longer than usual, but this stuff is, there's just so much we can go to. And these are the risks. Like I said, there are benefits. You know, I mean, you, I mean I'm just saying there are so many benefits. Like I said, medical, even professional, and things like that. But at the same time, it's closing a lot of doors while it's definitely opening a few. You guys really have to pay attention, man. We're going into a new age, and it ain't going to be... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say this the best way. There's a song by Iced Earth I would recommend you guys listen to. It's called Dystopia. <laughs> it's something to really think about, man. That's all I'm going to say about that. There's so many things that can happen. But honestly, I'd advise you guys to keep this in prayer. And while it's definitely potential tools to, to utilize, it's also more to look out for. There's going to be more coming down the pipe. But right now, this is the best way to cover things. You guys know what I do. I'm the producer for Dark Waters Entertainment. If you've had a sighting of any sort, whether it be paranormal or cryptid, hit me up. My email is westvic at imdarkwaters.com. You guys be blessed and you be safe. Okay.